So Mercy, something that I have um, not found is a, a really good patty. And the reason being that, you know, when you have leaky gut, you are trying to avoid nuts in the beginning, especially. And um, some of us also are sensitive to oats, and that seems to be something that um, a lot of patties have mm -hmm. as well. So um, the nice thing about this particular recipe is that it's a recipe for patties that calls for buckwheat rather than oats. Mm -hmm. And so it might be better tolerated mm -hmm. for some people. And it gives a cons good consistency, so like a meat. Have like. you tried it with anything else other than buckwheat? Well, because buckwheat is something that we can eat the first uh, couple months or four months mm -hmm. when we have leaky gut. That's the only thing I could find that could. So quinoa or amaranth? Quinoa, perhaps for hamburgers, mm -hmm. I have used, but for sausage, this works really well. Hamburgers. So, what do you mean by hamburgers? Uh, ha ha veggie burgers, uh -huh. we, make, we can make it with quinoa. And we can make it also with buckwheat. But for this particular recipe, uh -huh. it works better just the, the buckwheat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, what we have here is this is um, a cayenne pepper, mm -hmm. a quarter teaspoon, and then this is onion. Um, this is garlic. This is one half teaspoon of mm -hmm. garlic powder, and this is one teaspoon of honey. This is one and a half teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of salt and uh, two tablespoons of uh, veggie seasoning. Yes, veggie seasoning. And this is something that Mercy's come up with, right? Yeah, it's a mixture of herbs that you'll get the recipe, right? Okay, yeah. so we're gonna give you all the recipe for this as well too. So what you wanna do is you wanna take all of these seasonings, put it into some water and boil it. And once it comes to a boil, then you can add your buckwheat that you've uh, soaked overnight. And once you cook that, it will um, form this kind of oatmeal-like consistency. Mm -hmm. So this is what, let's, how do we make it into the shape of a patty? So I like to have water always because always it, it doesn't work. Okay. Stuck yeah, to, the, to the form, so I like to use this. So easy. So we're going to place some of the mixture and we're just gonna drop it and remove the top and we just wash it again. It just goes really fast, o otherwise it's messy. So we're gonna put these into the oven for about um, 15 minutes at 400 degrees, is it Mercy? Mm -hmm. 15 to 20 minutes until it's a little brown. And then you'll turn it over to the mm -hmm. other side and mm -hmm. do it for another 10, 15 minutes or so? Yes, and I just wanna say also, if you want more flavor, you can put an onion, a full onion, just for the flavor and boil it uh, in addition to this, and, uh, and then remove the onion, and it's gonna bring a super great flavor also. Okay. So, um, oh, I'm sorry, how, how many cups of the buckwheat? Oh, this was two and a quarter cups of um, buckwheat. Before that, soaked. That were, yes, that we soaked mm -hmm. overnight and then we put all of that in. And this. how many cups of uh, water to make the broth with the seasoning? That was three and a half, right? We did. Yes, three right. And, three and a half water. Okay, so we did that, boil it, then added the buckwheat and, and then we let it for like you said, like about 20 minutes cooking mm -hmm. until it's soft. Right. And then it's ready just to do the patties. So um, we do have some uh, patties that we made earlier today. And, and so you can see that they, um, they brown up really nicely, they stay together really well, and they have a really good flavor. Mm -hmm. So um, this will break apart really nicely too. So um, these are buckwheat patties. And for those of you who are sensitive to oats and want to try something different, I hope you'll give this one a try.